Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. As much as we love our feline friends, we also want to keep our decor intact. After researching expert advice, we found 10 easy methods to stop your cat from scratching the furniture, which we'll be sharing in this video. By the way, if you enjoy learning about cats, consider subscribing to our channel so you never miss another cat video. If you feel frustrated, just know that you aren't alone. My wife and I went through the scratching phase with Maggie. Thankfully, it only took a combination of two methods to make her lose interest in scratching our couch and chairs. Today, only one technique is needed to maintain success. Yes, really. Now first, let's talk about why cats scratch things. So why do cats scratch things? Scratching is a natural act for a cat and is completely necessary for their well-being. According to Jackson Galaxy, cat behaviorist, and Dr. Gene Hofe, holistic veterinarian, here are the reasons your cat scratches. First is to keep claws healthy. It helps remove the dead outer nail husk, keeping the nail healthy and sharp. Second is to stretch. It allows the cat to stretch, which is necessary to strengthen their upper body. Stretching also allows them to exercise their muscles. Third is to mark. It lets cats mark their territory visually. Their paws contain scent glands which release odors when he or she scratches things, which causes the cat's signature to be left behind. And fourth is to feel good. Not only does scratching feel great to cats, but it also relieves stress. This means that when a cat scratches things, there is a lesser chance they will develop other unwanted behaviors. Now that you know why cats need to scratch, it's important to learn what not to do before trying any methods. So what should you never do to prevent scratching? Contrary to popular belief, cats are not spiteful animals. This means that if a cat scratches your chair, they aren't out to get you. Instead, the cat is simply scratching for the reasons mentioned earlier. I get it, in the heat of the moment, especially if your $2,000 sofa just got ruined, it can be easy to lose patience with your cat. However, punishing your cat will never solve the problem. Instead, punishment will lead to worse problems down the road. First, we can't stress enough how important it is to never yell or physically punish your cat if they scratch something that's off limits. Not only is scolding or hitting completely ineffective, but doing either will also make them fear you. Yelling and smacking will also cause the cat to feel stressed and anxious, which can lead to additional unwanted behaviors. Plus, a cat would never understand the reason for these punishments anyway. Second, we urge you to never declaw your cat to prevent or resolve destructive scratching. Despite the name, declawing is much more than removing a cat's claws. In order to make sure the claws don't grow back, the end bone of each toe must be amputated, which is one third of a cat's paw. This is equivalent to cutting a human's finger off at the first knuckle. This procedure is considered very inhumane because it causes unnecessary pain and suffering. Ironically, many declawed cats develop behavioral problems that are more serious than scratching. Now that you know what not to do, let's talk about which methods can stop your cat from scratching the furniture. Method number one, scratching posts. Shortly after we brought Maggie home, we learned she loved to scratch our living room chair. To save the chair, we placed a scratching post in front of the part she scratched the most. Instead of scratching the chair, she went to town on the scratching post like a happy girl. This method really is a win-win because it allows your cat to fulfill their need to scratch while also saving the off-limits surface. Plus, it's easy to implement. Before the chair fiasco, we already had scratching posts, however, they were not strategically placed around the house. That's why the key to this method is placing the scratching posts in front of things you want to protect. Note that if your cat isn't immediately interested in the scratching posts like Maggie was, you can lure them over with treats. Another option is to sprinkle catnip or spray honeysuckle on it, which are both things the cats love. There are different types of scratching posts that meet various feline preferences. For example, horizontal cardboard scratchers for carpet lovers, wedge-shaped cardboard ramps for cats who scratch low on furniture, and upright posts for a cat who likes to stretch while scratching. Since there are several options, it's recommended to get a variety of different scratching posts to find out which type your cat prefers. If you shop around, you can easily find inexpensive scratching posts. Aside from the type of scratching post, the material that the post is made of is also important. According to Jackson Galaxy and Dr. Hofe, natural wood is a good option because it closely mimics a tree, something cats love to scratch in nature. Many cats also like the feel of a sisal rope wound post. Others may like redwood or cedar planks. Method number two, citrus sprays. Another method that helped us out tremendously was using citrus sprays. Scratching post and citrus sprays are the only two methods Maggie ever needed. All you have to do is spray the fabric surface you want to protect. 
These sprays work because cats have a natural aversion to citrus odors. To maintain its effect, you simply have to reapply as needed. Since citrus sprays are natural deterrents for cats, it's important that you never spray the product directly on the cat. These products are only meant to be sprayed on fabric surfaces. If you are spraying a couch or chair, we recommend doing so before bedtime. This way, it'll be fully dry the next time you sit on it and no product will rub off. We'll have the spray we used and other mentioned products linked in the description below. Method number three, feel away spray. Feel away spray works by giving the cat the impression that the area has already been marked, which makes them think there is no need to scratch. As an added bonus, it has a calming effect on the cats. Just like the last spray, feel away spray is only meant to be sprayed on the problem areas, not directly on the cat. Method number four, covering the item. Many first time cat parents don't think to cover the items that need protection, but this can easily be done by covering the targeted piece with a sheet. Or another option is to buy a furniture protector that is specifically designed to protect against cat scratches. Even if you don't want to cover that beautiful sofa long term, it's a great place to start if you are waiting to get supplies from one of the other methods. Method number five, double-sided tape. Another technique is to place double-sided tape on the area you want to protect. This product works because the tape has a tactile feel which cats avoid. Sticky Paws is a popular choice because it comes in different sizes and versions designed specifically for furniture or plants. It's also easy to apply. Method number six, motion activated spray. Like the name sounds, a motion activated sprayer works automatically. When the sprayer detects your cat entering an off limits area, it emits a harmless and odorless spray to deter them from continuing. This is also a way to keep cats off countertops and tables. If you frequently walk past the sprayer's spot, you could always save this method for when you're out of the house. Method number seven, trimming nails. Although this might sound like an obvious one, I didn't want to leave it out because some cat parents don't think trimming nails will solve the problem. While trimmed nails themselves won't stop them from scratching, they will reduce the amount of damage done to anything your cat does scratch. If you are unfamiliar or uncomfortable with cutting your cat's nails, ask your vet to show you. Also, if you want us to do a video explaining how to trim a cat's nails, let us know in the comments. Method number eight, nail caps. Nail cats are like a woman's equivalent to acrylic nails. The caps cover each nail so that the scratching causes little to no damage. Nail caps usually fall off after four to six weeks, at which time new ones need to be applied. These caps are said to be a humane alternative to declawing. The material is non-toxic and the caps still allow the full retraction and extension of claws, which means your cat won't be stopped from stretching their muscles. In order for nail caps to properly work, it is crucial that they are applied correctly. So if you decide to do this, make sure you follow the directions closely. Method number nine, vinyl carpet runners. This method involves setting up a vinyl carpet runner with the spike side up in front of the spot where your cat loves to scratch. The prickly feeling will soon teach the cat not to go near the runner. Although vinyl carpet runners can be effective, this is one of those methods that should be saved as a last resort. However, the option is there for extra stubborn cats. Method number 10, a squirt bottle. Finally, you can resort to squirting the cat with water when they are caught scratching. As mentioned earlier, you should never scold the cat. So if you do squirt them, simply say in a firm but calm voice the word no while doing so. According to the ASPCA, squirting should be saved as a last resort because the startling act can cause your cat to fear you, which is something you never want. For this reason, we urge you to try all other methods before this one. At the end of the day, all cats are different, which is why it's best to experiment to see which of these methods works best for your cat. It's also important to always consult with your veterinarian if you are concerned about your cat's behavior. Also, if this list is unsuccessful, it's time to call your vet ASAP because there could be something going on with your cat. If you have tried any of these methods, let us know which ones worked in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catter Day for another video.